Earlier this year we had an extreme winter and my car broke down. The alternator died and needed to be replaced. You are seeing the old one right now. A friend came by and helped me replace it. I think the alternator is one of the cooler looking parts when you look inside your engine bay. If you don't know, the alternator uses electric power from your car battery to start up the engine. What people back in the day did by hand is now the job of the alternator. I had it sitting on my workbench for a few days and I definitely wanted to highlight this piece of engineering in some way. Now, the alternator in German is called Lichtmaschine, which translates into light machine. You've seen a thumbnail, you know where this is going. Wait, I have an early sketch of my idea that I made in Spain flying around. But let's get to the build, shall we? So I know someone that provides me with leftover flooring. And I guess many of my upcoming projects will be made out of that. Usually I remove the flooring characteristics. The tongue and groove on my table saw and then the little grooves on the underside with my planer. I measured out the diameter of the alternator and roughly cut out the piece that matches that. I slowly got closer to the actual diameter and while re-watching this clip, please do not try this technique. There is just way too much potential for errors and injuries. I would rather recommend you doing it with the poor man's life that you're seeing here. This actually went pretty well. Now, for the legs, another piece of oak flooring that is cut in a 15 degree angle. The alternator has different electrical connections on the bottom of it. I roughly measured them out and then cut out fitting slots on the bandsaw. And to my surprise, it fitted perfectly on the first try. Removing the burning marks was way trickier. Of course, sending them out by hand just isn't an option. We are in the 21st century after all. I gave the legs a little round over on the outer edges, which gave it all a really nice look. An alternator weighs around 6 to 7 kilos, which is roughly between 13 to 16 pounds. So I prefixed the legs with some CA glue and then added two screws into each one to hold them tightly in place. So my wife thought it was really funny that I basically made a mini table at this point. Which actually wouldn't be the first one. Before I started woodworking with my first ever table, I also made a miniature of it just as a proof of concept. The videos to that are actually on my channel as well. I actually didn't thought about how to attach the alternator to the base at that point. But there is nothing you couldn't fix with some two component glue. So I simply put a lot of it on the base and planted the alternator right into it. This actually worked pretty well and provided a very good bond between the two parts. Now to an even trickier question. How do I keep the lampshade just slightly hovering above the alternator? Oh, by the way, we are finishing the base with hard wax oil, mainly because I like the color. The pulley on top of the alternator is actually perfect for holding some piece of tubing. And that piece of tubing could also hide the cable. 
So the easiest way for me to getting a part that fits perfectly is to create it myself. And that is exactly what I did. And I hope this would actually be the perfect transition to a sponsored segment, but you can check my numbers yourself. By the way, if you like this video, maybe consider subscribing. Okay, so now it's time for the electrical assembly. The lampshade that I use, a basic one from IKEA, I guess I can call this video an IKEA hack now, actually has a very clever design of clicking things onto a metal ring. So I copied that for the tubing that I printed, and this way it's actually possible to disassemble the lamp if necessary. The electrical assembly actually went very very smoothly and I was surprised that the 3D printed part fitted perfectly on the first try. I tend to forget one thing when doing assemblies like that. In this case I wanted to put the cable through the mounting holes on the side. So I had to disassemble everything and reassemble it again. Now. I have a question for you. If you have seen a few of my other videos already, please let me know how you like this one. I tried out a slightly other style and I would really like to get some feedback. And if you are new to the channel, say hi in the comments. I promise I will say hi back. Either way, thank you for watching.